Hi guys, welcome back to Leila's Home Cooking. On today's episode, I wanna show you how I make chicken kofta curry. It is easy to make, it is so good to eat and great uh, to serve your guests. In time your guest is coming, it does not take too long to make at all. Let me take it to Zingren for the kofta first. We're gonna do the kofta. And in this large bowl, I have ground chicken. And uh, over here, I have a besan or ground flour. Uh, red chili powder, salt, pepper, and garam masala powder. I have an egg, and uh, finely chopped onion, ginger, garlic. They are both grated. Green chilies, chopped, and uh, mint and coriander, chopped as well. So I'm gonna add all of the ingredients. I'm just gonna do uh, mix this by hand. I have already washed my hand, and all of these ingredients for the kofta is going in. I'm gonna crack the egg. Okay, and then uh, just mix everything nice until all the ingredients combine. Okay, this is looking nice. And uh, I'm gonna go wash my hand and then uh, when I come back, I'm gonna uh, we're just gonna go and create the koftas and I'm gonna show you how to do that All right, I'm back and now to make the koftas I have a little bit of oil here and then I got a plate as well. Just put some oil In your hand just a little bit like this and now we're gonna make a small koftas Now the size is gonna be up to you. You can make small koftas or you can make medium or uh, big koftas. That's really up to you. Just like that. And the koftas are ready and uh, I'm just gonna cover them with just plastic wrap. Cover this nicely and this is going to go in the fridge. Meanwhile, we are going to prepare for the gravy and uh, please do not skip this step this is very important these kofta are gonna stay in the fridge and they will be getting a little bit firmer when we when this will be ready to go in the gravy so let's just sit in the fridge meanwhile we are going to prepare for the gravy and to make the gravy we are gonna need some onion finely chopped some bay leaf cinnamon stick two small pieces green cardamom some spices, cumin powder, turmeric powder, salt, red chili powder, and coriander powder. We also need some garam masala for later. And then over here, some chopped coriander, grated ginger, grated garlic, and uh, plain yogurt, and uh, two tomatoes and one large onion is going to blend into a paste. And do not add any water, just blend them because the tomatoes uh, does uh, reduce like release water so um, try to make a paste without adding any water oil is preheated I'm gonna fry this onion add ginger and garlic you can also use ginger and garlic paste if you don't want to grate them cook for a minute and the paste onion and tomatoes we're gonna add this as well and uh, I'm gonna save this for later to add some water in this uh, jug and now let this paste cook with the onion a little bit to three minutes over medium high heat add all the spices mix add some water And uh, I'm gonna cover and let it cook. I'm gonna reduce the heat. It's been eight minutes. I have just uncovered the lid, and now it's time to add the yogurt, the plain yogurt. And I did add a little bit more water. Cover this back and let it uh, let let it comes to a boil. And then we're gonna add the kofta. And now we're gonna add the koftas. And when you add all the koftas, do not move them right away. And it's better not to use uh, this kind of a spoon or any kind of a spoon, just use uh, a fork. 
uh, will be better and then you can just move them so they don't break okay so when you are boiling the koftas they will get firm and uh, because we put them in the fridge as well so they're not gonna break but it's still we're not gonna move them just like that and we're just gonna wait slowly slowly then we're gonna move just like this and the good thing about these koftas is the koftas are not fry it's not deep fry so we don't have to worry about uh, frying koftas in the gravy you guys it's been 15 minutes and now I'm gonna add just like half teaspoon of garam masala and the chopped coriander if you like more um, strong spice you can add uh, one full teaspoon of garam masala and uh, our kofta curry is ready okay guys our kofta chicken kofta curry is ready and look how gorgeous these are looking right now I got some uh, rice here and uh, I just want to give give it a try you definitely can uh, serve this with uh, roti, with naan, with bread, and uh, or you can just do like me, with rice, and it is very hot. You can see the smoke. I just want to show you the inside, and this is how the kofta looks like, and smell in this kitchen is right now super delicious. And just give this a try. <laughs> Little bit is spicy, but it is so good. It's not a bad spice, it is a really good spice. If you want yours mild, just reduce the amount of. Uh, chili powder and also the green chilies but this is so good guys written, written ingredient will be down below in the description box in English and French and just make it and let me know how did yours turn you can also post your pictures on my Instagram account so I will have a chance to see them don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye